Welcome, my dear learners, to the video on Grade 2, Chapter 6, Word Pad. So, my dear learners, tell me, whenever you want to write a poem or some story, you write it in your notebook, right? So, just imagine how amazing it would be you, the, that you could type the same story or poem in your computer and store it in your computer. Suppose you want to write a poem for your mother on her birthday. So you can type the poem in the computer and you can take a print of it and you can gift it to your mother. How nice she would feel. So today we are going to learn about an application that is WordPad. A WordPad is an app that lets you type stories, poems on the computer. You already know that just as we use a pencil to write on paper, we use keyboard to type on the computer. Let us learn how to open WordPad now. To open a WordPad, WordPad Type WordPad in the search box next to the start button. The start button is here on the left hand side at the bottom. And this is the search bar where you need to type word pad. So when you type word pad, you will see that you can see the word pad in apps over here. This is a word pad app. When you click on it, the WordPad app will open and now we are going to learn more about it. Next, we are going to learn that is about parts of a WordPad window. A WordPad window has following parts. Quick access toolbar. Can you see? This is a quick access toolbar. Okay. It contains buttons that let you quickly save the document. This is a save button which will help you save your document quickly. Ribbon. This is the ribbon students. It has three tabs. File, Home and View. Here we are going to learn how to use some of the options of the Home tab. Work area. This is the work area. The work area is present below the ribbon, that is area in which we type the text. Next is working in a word pad. We can type text in word pad window and make changes to it if needed. Let us learn how to type and make changes to the text. Typing the text. Click on the work area. So I'll click over here. You would notice a small blinking line. This is the small blinking line. Okay. Start typing here. The blinking line is called the cursor. You would notice that the cursor moves towards the right as you type in. Okay. So now we will start typing. Plants. So can you see as I am writing, the cursor is moving forward. Plants and their uses. We see man, many plants. I am typing from my computer uh, or I am typing from my keyboard. Around us. Plants. Give us fruit and vegetables. They also give us tea, coffee, and sugar. Also get wood to make wood to make furniture. 
picture from plant. Okay, this is the text that I have typed from my keyboard. Okay, so when the text reaches the end of the line, it automatically shifts to the next line. So you saw when I was typing, when the text when the text reached at the end of the line, the cursor was automatically moved to the next line. To start a new paragraph, simply press the enter key on the keyboard. So if I want to make a paragraph, so I can just press enter and my cursor will be moved to the next line. Okay, I hope everybody has understood how to type on a word pad. Now, I am going to teach you how to make changes to the text. Adding text. You can add new text to the already present text in the document. Follow these steps. Okay. Place your cursor at the position where you want to add the text by clicking the left mouse button. Okay. So, if I want to add a text also over here between they and also, okay, so I have to place the cursor over here by just clicking the left mouse button. Start typing the new text. So, I type they are also. The new text is added and the text which is already present gets shifted. Next, we are going to learn is deleting the text. We may need to erase some text while typing. This can be done using either the delete key or the backspace key. Place the cursor at the position where you want to erase the text. Okay, for example, if I want to erase the small t over here, so I will place the text over here and I will click on the backspace key because backspace key leads the text towards its left, towards the left of the cursor. So, and I'll type the big T, capital T. Okay, next is if I want to delete W and make it capital. So, I will place the cursor to the right uh, to the left of the W and use the delete key to delete it. Okay, because delete key deletes the letter to the right of the cursor. And now I will type the capital W. Okay, same way, using a backspace key, I will delete this V and type a capital W. And here also, using backspace key, I will type a capital W. B. Okay. Next, we are going to learn is selecting text. In order to change the background color of the text or change its size, you need to select it. Let us learn how to do it. To select the text, place the cursor before the text you want you wish to select. So if I want to select this text, I will place the cursor before it. Keeping the left mouse button press, drag the mouse over the text like this. Release the mouse button, the selected text gets highlighted. Changing the text color. To change the text color, select the text as we have selected now. What you have to do? Place the mouse pointer before the text you want to select it. Then Drag your mouse pointer over the text and release it afterwards. You will see the text is highlighted. On the home tab, click on the down arrow next to the text color button. Okay, on the home tab, you have to click on the down arrow button. Okay, in the fonts group. In the fonts group, this is the text color button. Click on the arrow. Select the color of your choice. I can select the color of your, my choice. I'll select this nice red color. 
Okay, the selected text will be displayed in the chosen color. You can see. Now next, changing the text size. You can change the size of the text in your document to make it look different from the rest of the text. To change the size of the text, select the text. Again, you will select this text. On the home tab, click on the following button in the fonts group. Okay, grow font button. So this is the grow font button. Can you see? Okay, so when I click on it, my size of the text will be increased. Can you see? It is increasing. And I can also shrink it because this has become too much big. So besides it is the shrink font button to reduce the font size. When I click on it, I can reduce the size. So with this button, grow font button, I can increase the size. With this button, I can shrink or reduce the size of the text. Okay, you can click on these buttons as many times to get the text size you want. Okay, so if my document is ready now, you need to save it. Otherwise, next time when you will return back to your document, your data will be lost. Okay, so whenever you do something, whenever you type something, you need to save your document. Otherwise, your document will be gone. Okay, I've made a mistake. I'll read this over here. So for saving this document, follow the steps. You can save the text you have typed in WordPad so that you can see it in the future. To save, click on the save button in the quick access toolbar. Okay, when I click on this, a save as dialog box will appear. Type a name of the document, okay? Type a name of the document you want to give it. In this example, we have given, we will give the name of the document as plants, okay? Type it in over here and click on save button to save your document. You can also select the folder where you want to save it. So, I will select the folder where I want to save it. Okay, and here in the second folder I want to save, I will click on save. And if you see, my document has been saved. The name of the document is plant. The name of the document is changed. On the title bar up okay so this is how you type text in word and you can also change the color and size of the text in your word i hope you have also understood how to save your word pad document okay so students whatever i have taught you please keep practicing okay till then take care Bye. Thank you.